Oh, wait, 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 wait. They were confused. One thing a conductor must not do is create confusion. Yes. Right? So if nothing else, you've got to make them feel comfortable and, and clear. So what do you do at the beginning? Who are you conducting? Right, exactly. Okay, good. And the f they have a rest and then they play and they don't know anything else. So you have to tell them everything else. No, that's, that's a one, right? So they d you don't want them to play on the one. No. Right. So this is one, everybody. <laughs> right? Are you clear? One. Now, two. <laughs> Yeah, but the trouble with that is it's not clear what it is. You, okay. it, it's the first beat, which you know is, you don't want anybody to play. You say, are you ready, everybody? <laughs> One, two, now you play, mm -hmm. right? Is that, is that the one? Where was the one? No, the two. The one was uh, I, I see. I see. It's, it's obviously not clear. They didn't know, right? One. One. Okay, let's just look at this. The, you know, you've chosen something very difficult. You know it's difficult. We all know this is a very hard opening. So the first thing to do is to make sure that those three instruments do the first four notes. So let's do just that. Don't think about anything else. We're going to get the C, B flat, A flat, going to forte piano, G. That's all. Okay, do that. One. Now, the, the thing to do, it's a, it's a momentous, it's a dramatic thing, the, the, this opening. It's doleful, isn't it? It's full of darkness, tragic. So the main thing to do is not the beats, but the color of those openings. So you want to do, this is the first note. Now, one. So I wasn't thinking beats at all. Sure. I was thinking G, C, C B flat. To do that, one, one. Just let me take this away from you a moment. Just here. You can use it later. One, two, three. Good. Now we got we got it. Great. Do it again. Okay, now, good. You've got, you've got that opening very well. That's very well. I, I don't think it's as angry as you are creating. You have wonderful facial expressions, so you, we know what you're thinking. I don't think of it as angry. I think of it as tragic, it's something else. Right. So can you be tragic? Sure. Good. Be very sad. Great, good. We, we, we Jewish people have a huge advantage over the rest of the world. <laughs> we see, we can, <laughs> they try to do tragedy, but we really can do it. Well, right? so yeah, sure. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> wow. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, I'll tell you a secret. Since they're drawing their bows, they don't know, they don't need those extra beads. Mm -hmm because they're drawing the bow like this. So if you do this, one. But, but you're doing it very beautifully. It's also very noble, keep, keep the nobility.
Wow, wow, bravo, bravo, you're great, you're great. Now, the most amazing thing about that is that that is four bars of music that belongs in one line. Right, right. And if you can give the feeling to the players that you're stretching it and stretching it and stretching it to the end of the four, nothing to interrupt it. Sure. Also, there's another thing you're not quite doing is the forte piano. That's a very thing, right. difficult. Just the attack and then come away from it. Sure. Now this time, think of it as four huge, huge grand bars doing brilliantly. Now, this you need to do each note. Bravo, incidentally, we felt that. You felt it. It was great. You were wonderful. Wonderful. So do from boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I find that uh, too too chirpy, like like Gilbert and Sullivan. <laughs> you know, and right, right. Get get the pitch going. And the violas and cellos keep playing continuously. Only the first and second violins keep breaking it up. So think, concentrate on them. It's a little hard to feel like character between. Yeah. That's right. Well, I think it's, it, it, that's what I would say. It's not pianissimo, incidentally, it's piano, so it's full, full sound. Boom, 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 boom. Do from there. Boom, boom, boom. Do you play a string instrument? No. Well, if you did, you, you, the pitch, the feel of the boom, 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 boom. So when I conduct that, I think boom, boom, and boom, 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 and they get exactly the, that kind of pizzicato. Sort of reminiscent of the opening of the first movement, the like timpani sort of thing. Yeah, that's like that. That's good. That's good. Yeah, go ahead. Boom, 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 boom. It's going to start. Now, when you, when you make an accelerando, you have to judge how to get faster because you got a l very fast quickly and then you couldn't go any faster, so you stopped. So think over the whole four bars First two bars, no stringendo. Right. Then the do, do from measure eight. That's where the stringendo and Brahms knows you're going to have trouble, so he says poco a poco, exactly. One thing you're not doing that Brahms wrote that is very beautiful is this crescendo diminuendo, mm, yeah, all right? Yeah. And also it, it also didn't go gradual. Make sure it's really gradual, doing very well. This you have to practice it in your mind over and over till you get from, from bar eight to bar 12 in an absolutely logical way, each note faster than the next. Boom, boom, boom. Bim bum 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 bim bim
good. When you get to this, what is that a reminiscence of? The opening. Uh, the opening. Of this movement. Well, yes, except it's also a reminiscence or a pre a pre premonition of da 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 da. So can you get that into your body so that they know that you know that they know that that's what's happening there? That'd be great. This one is less tragic than the, the first at the opening. Yes, probably. Although there are more dissonances, right. so I don't know that I don't think of it that way. Um, but I do, I do love that. I, I want to hear this pizzicato all the way from the beginning. So I want to hear the six bars of Adagio, two bars of Adagio, and then four bars of a Chalorando. Uh, from, from bar five. Six. 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 You're not helping them with the pizzicato. Let me just show you if I, I can actually, I can actually do the, they put their finger on and I take it off, look. Boom, 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 boom. I actually take the, you see, I'm, yeah. I'm yeah. feeling their pizzicato in, right. I'm not conducting in other words, never conduct and you'll go far. Bom, bom, bim, bim, bom. Think pizzicato. Bom, 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 bim. And now it's gonna start. Bom, 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 bim, bim, pa, 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 bim, bim. No, you were great. You were great. He did something very beautiful. He went, bum, don't play. <laughs> All right. And then you played and we say, how fascinating. <laughs> you know that I always say, if somebody makes a mistake, we say, how fascinating. <laughs> not, not you silly fool, you play. <laughs> no, we never blame anybody. We just say, how fascinating. It's a discipline. It's a discipline to say how fascinating when you make a mistake or something happens because it changes the mood. Right. We all fall into that trap, yeah. but don't. <laughs> all right. But I thought you did a great job. You just went like that. Obviously, it wasn't quite enough. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, Is that the sort of thing that in rehearsal you would say? Yeah. You say before? I'm going to cut off completely. Absolutely. Or you say when you get to it. If it's, but if you do it really convincingly, they won't play. I promise you. Okay. Would you do from um, from the stringendo? Three and. No, I think if you do that, it should be enough. Yeah. They'll see you once again. Yeah. So there's going to be a complete cutoff. No, no, there's going to be a cutoff cut there, off. right now. Thousand. Right now, oh, how fascinating. <laughs> 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 there are conductors who there are two responses for a conductor one is you're fired and the other is how fascinating <laughs> that was great do it one more time yeah <laughs> Right, but this is, if they, make, if they make a mistake, it's your fault, you, you, you realize that. So just do that, start right on 21. This is, 
<laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> right. Uh, right at, right at, uh, Wouldn't it be right great if we really lived that way? The people around us made mistakes we, you, we realize. You know, it's, it, in a way it's true. If a horn player makes a mistake, you know, flubs a note, which horn players often do, I like to think that I could have prevented that if I'd been paying more attention. Right. It's not necessarily true, but it's not a bad way of living. Right. That, that everything that happens, Roz, my beloved partner, has a chapter in the book, The Art of Possibility, which is uh, called Being the Board. And it's the chapter in which everything that happens on the board is on our board, on my board. I say that mistake in the horn happened on my board. Who was I being? that caused that to happen, rather than what's wrong with that stupid bird? Why can't I get a really good horn player? You know? <laughs> so it's not, a bad, it's not a bad approach. In fact, it's a great approach. And it's taught all of us a lot about how to, to be in the world. So we do about 20? Yep, that's more. great. Let me just say one thing. There's a crescendo, crescendo and then a subito piano. Right. So you have to do that. One, two, three, four, and two, three, four. You don't be too. Me too. Me too. Me too. Okay, now, I'm Ruben, I'm going to suggest to something here, which is not written, but I think Brahms would have assumed it, which is it wants to move. It gets a little stuck if you keep in the same tempo. Because when it explodes, it's too pedantic. So in that bar, this bar, let it move. Okay. It's natural. It says no accelerando. That's the bit where you do an accelerando. <laughs> right, so to try it again. Two <laughs> before? Uh, yeah. No, do, do the same place. Yeah. yeah. Good. Two, three. Now, here it starts. Bim, It, it seems so natural, doesn't it? It seems it's so natural to do that, and it puts you in a great position uh, later on. All right? Do it one more time. Piano now. Fine. He, that's right. He miscounted, but that's fine. That's fine. That's very good. How what? Yeah. How fascinating. Exactly. <laughs> but you know, isn't that interesting? When you say how fascinating, what that does, the words, how fascinating. Mm. Particularly if you do this. <laughs> because I, once I was working with the youth orchestra, and there were two thousand people in the audience, and this trumpet player made a huge boo boo, and in front of two thousand, he went. <laughs> he couldn't do that, that was too, but he went like that, as if to say, I understand, you know, so I think it, if, it just re relaxes us, releases the tension, sure. but that was great, I think that's very natural, now Brahms didn't write that at Celerando, it seems to me self-evident that he intended it, because we don't want to be pedantic in this, it's a storm, he's describing a storm, right? so be stormy, one last time. From two 
Can you give the feeling that the storm is about to brew? Just do it again. One, two, they all feel that. All you're doing is letting it out for them. Here it is. Yes. The the reason for that, I'm sorry, the reason for that was there were two conductors. I'm sorry. They, they followed me in the <laughs> But that was great. That was great. And give them the feeling that you're, uh, you're creating a storm of emotion here. Very good. You do six before B, right on the top, top. Right, good, good. Uh, 24. Do, do A, do just right on A. Right, and don't go too fast, it's, it's gradual. And one, two, now forty. Dv two, two v two, doom doom doom. Now flute. Dim beedle, 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 beedle. Dim be, dim be, dim. No, now good. Well, you have to be clear. I would suggest that what you do is in this, this is a technical thing. Right. You do this in um pa da da um pa da 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 um pa prrr, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tion, tion, tion. It's a tricky moment. You have to think it out, but you're doing great. You're doing really great. Shall uh, we do three before B? Okay, three before B is fine. I'd actually prefer, yeah, three before B is right. It's, it's uh, three before the piano. But you, you have to understand, they don't have anything in their part. They depend entirely on you to tell them what's happening for everybody in the orchestra. Sure. Right. Yeah, you hadn't quite, you hadn't quite worked it out. But it, this is a secret for you. These twelves become right. sixes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Once you get yeah, that, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's exactly right. And you have to actually explain that to the timpanist so that you look at the timpanist and say twelves become six, and you could do it with your hand. But it has to be really clear. But let's not worry about that now, because that's for you to work out. Let's go on. B, letter B. Have you got a, have you got a tempo for, uh, Ruben, have you got a tempo? Have you decided on a tempo for this? On metronome? Yes. Oh, that's too fast, I think. Yeah. yeah, more like that. Yeah, I would do something very, very spacious. Okay. Seventy-two is fine. So and don't let the horn player move before the fourth right. beat. Right? They all love to do that. Great. Now, very noble sound. And who else is playing under the horns? Uh, the low strings. No. Yeah. No, the most important thing of all. Well, most strings are playing, but yeah. The trombones are coming in for the first time, right? They haven't been here before. This is a great moment. And why Brahms didn't need the trombones before this moment? You know, they've been silent since the last moment of the Fifth Symphony of Beethoven. And then suddenly they come in. So be conscious, not only of the horn, but the trombones, this beautiful, noble, quiet. Oh, there's only, no, no instruments can make the sound of the trombone. So try that.
let me just tell you one thing, Reuben, Reuben. The horn, first horn goes ta ya da ta. The second horn, ta. In order to keep the first horns, because the first horn has to breathe. So the second horn comes in there. Take care of the second horn. He needs you, or she he needs you. Once again. Now, Ruben, Ruben, you, I mean, you're doing lots of things and you're doing really well, but I want you to think about what life is like for an orchestral musician. They go, they pick up the flute when they're about seven and they practice, and then they go to school and then they go to summer camp and then they go to college and they do an de undergraduate degree and then they do a graduate degree and then they hang about working in restaurants for a long time. <laughs> and then eventually somebody hires them and they wait five years and then they finally get to play Brahms one and they have to wait for three whole movements and then a moment comes and this is the moment and you have to look as though you know that mm. all right okay. because yeah. every flute player is waiting for that moment <sighs> It's the fulfillment of their life dream. Sure. Right. Be with them. Right. And incidentally, that's a good way to be with all the musicians. One of the reasons I put, you know I put white sheets on the stand. Do you know about that? I put white sheets on the stand. Partly because I find out what they're concerned about, what they like, what they have pointed out. You know, somebody wrote me a white sheet I was conducting in Australia, and she wrote, I love the chord in the bar before M. And I looked in the score. She wasn't even playing in the chord. She was the first oboe, but she loved that chord. So every time we came to that chord in the rehearsals and in the concert, me too. It's our chord. So think of yourself in partnership with every member of the orchestra, with the horn, particularly the second horn, because everybody forgets the second right. horn. And when the flute comes, oh my God, just open the world for her. You do that? Great. You're doing a beautiful job. Let's just try it again. So we set up the whole thing, just so we have enough. Do you know this is one of the greatest moments in Western music, Western art, this moment? And you know that he, um, he uh, was in Switzerland and he heard this theme on an alp horn. Did you know that? He actually heard this. He heard this long horn that goes, and he was in Switzerland and he heard that alp horn and he reproduced, he put it into his symphony. A fantastic memory and it's a beautiful scene you can imagine a Swiss sunrise you know he was there 1868 he visited and he heard the Alpine so across the valley you know just and if you can get a feeling a sense in your body that you're creating a landscape for them because they've never been to Switzerland the orchestra players don't go to Switzerland so you have to you have to say, this is how it feels. The huge spaces and mountains and valleys and an alphorn. Second horn. And it has to be exact because they're going, do yo, 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 yo. They have to be exact. And all of that is happening in your body. Sure. Good. Do that. Have you have you been in Switzerland? I have not. What? I have not. Okay, go to Switzerland. Okay, okay, go to Switzerland, <laughs> and and just you know put it a put it, a tax free tax free journey okay. because it's part of your education. <laughs> the thing to do is to get a body language which suggests space. Just to, can you just do that opening three and the sound of a horn coming from far away. <laughs> Chord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
It's one, it's one of the reasons I take these kids on tours to faraway places, right? They all went with the youth orchestra. So they've been in Switzerland and they've been in these places and they can conjure up those thoughts and so on. So that's your job, right? Sure. Beautiful, do it. <laughs> Yeah, it's like saying, it, it, you be like a travel guide. You have it in your head, you have this incredible view, and you're taking them with you on this journey. Look, look at the gestures I'm making play. I'm hearing it. They can get a sense from me that I've got some imagination, some image in my head. I'm not conducting, I'm just on a journey. Beautiful train. No, no, no. It's up. It's high. Here comes the flute, she's been waiting, here she is. And now the, the brasses, the brasses. Um, yes, bravo. Mm, yeah, good, good, great, great, great. There's one thing that you're leaving out, which is the sound of the contrabassoon. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. Because the contrabassoon, there's no piece of music in the whole world that has as important a contrabassoon part. I played part. this contrabassoon part. Really? Yeah. Fantastic. So you know what it's like. <laughs> so what that adds is the 30 foot, uh, the 30 foot uh, pipe on the organ. So can you get a sound in your body that it includes that contrabassoon? Do right from there. That was beautiful, incidentally. It's a pleasure to play for you. And the, the, you have a real uh, artistic spirit and everybody can get how much you care and how much you understand about music. It's beautiful. Is that, is that right? I mean, I'm speaking on your body. Look at them. Eyes shining. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. So you're great. So do that. Add the contrabassoon. <laughs> it's very rare that a uh, very rare that a con sorry I was going to say it's very rare that a conductor said said yeah I've actually played that but <laughs> I was I was oh, with I, See, was, I, I even have that C circled right there it's oh hard, hard wonderful I was with I was with I was in a restaurant in in in, in Concord with Doris Kearns Goodwin mm -hmm. and his her husband uh, uh, Richard Goodwin and somebody asked him during the conversation. Do you know that speech that, that Johnson gave, a civil rights speech? And, and Richard Goodwin said, yes, I wrote it. <laughs> 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 so that's like that. Play it as though you wrote it. Okay, write that very play. <laughs> I, want, I just want to stop you. I just want to stop you. I want people to understand. I don't know this guy at all, but he changes his body language 
exactly according to the music. It's just fantastic. <laughs> and I looked over at him and said, yes, that's a, have you ever conducted? No. No, <laughs> you're actually doing it. But <laughs> <laughs> there's one thing missing from your conducting, which is beautiful at this point, and that's Thanksgiving. Mm. You're doing serious, German, ponderous, but this is giving thanks. Right? Can you do that too? Good, beautiful, right on that. One of the great moments in Western music, this one. Yes, there we go. You have to be conscious of the timpani right, there. Right, yes. well, ba, 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 Good. You're doing it at a slower tempo than you started. Mm. It's way below 72, which is what you said. I think 66 okay. will give you enough motion. Just do it again. And let's get it. Yes, let's do it at 66. Not at, I don't have my metronome, so I can't tell you, but it's like this about like that and that'll get you to play the whole phrase in one it's really one breath you should be able to do this in one breath just do c three and It should be. So if it's too if it's too slow, it's too slow. That won't be possible, right? Do that again, and then we'll we're almost at the end. You're doing beautifully. A prayer of thanksgiving. Can you do that? This is one of the great moments for trombone in the whole. So a prayer of thanksgiving. Can we just do that very place? There it is, and and now poco forte. Now gorgeous the trombones. then off right good bravo well done beautiful well done thank you all thank you <laughs> thank you yeah thank you for joining of course yeah. <laughs> great beautiful You know, con conducting is not something you do, conducting is something you be. And the training of a conductor, yes, there's a lot of stuff you have to learn, but in the end it's who you are being that is the key to the hearts and minds of the players and through them to the audience. And once you get that, and then it becomes a wonderful journey. You're doing a beautiful job. I think this was really extraordinary how the three conductors, and thank you for taking over when Dina had it. was just very smooth, nobody noticed. <laughs> it was great, great, <laughs> wonderful.
in the one minute left, do you have any question either for them or um, anything you'd like to say, any of you? I can fill this w one minute. Maybe my dream worst. <laughs> What's that? I said, you made my dream worst. Yes. yes. Came all the way yes. from Orlando, Florida. Yes. Yeah, now yes. you Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Yeah.